I'm CC441. Welcome to my show called The Funky Truth, where no matter how I feel personally, I have to tell the truth. President DJT had a really bad, life-changing incident recently. This horrendous assassination attempt actually leveled the playing field for the upcoming presidential election. I have a great video, and today I want to discuss President DJT and the psychology of a headshot. And I want to do this from a street perspective, because no matter how you try to spin it, if you shoot somebody in the head or try to shoot somebody in the head, you have taken it to the streets. You see, when you shoot somebody in their extremities or their body and they survive it, it's scary, it changes you, and it's intense. There is emotional changes, changes in behavior, there are physical symptoms, and chronic health conditions. Let's take a look at the emotional effects. They include fear, anxiety, panic, shock, numbness, detachment, withdrawal, and guilt. This is how being shot affects your behaviors. There's flashbacks, difficulty sleeping, nightmares, avoidance of people and places, and self-neglect. The physical symptoms include headaches, stomach pains, digestive problems, racing heart, sweaty, and you're very jumpy. And the chronic health conditions are substance abuse, mental health conditions, or risky behaviors. Now, imagine all these effects times 10. And that's the reality of a headshot. Our ex-president is in a very fragile state right now. He's been a lion his entire life. He's had the Midas touch, the green light. He's been a King Kong warrior his entire life. You can ask any real one in the hood right now. If you survive a headshot, with a close miss or minor injuries, the result is instant humility. When you pull it together and come out of that daze, you are a new man. But you will undoubtedly need plenty of therapy. See, President DJT is gonna love his family more. He's gonna love life more. He's gonna appreciate every opportunity that he has more. He will be kinder to people. He will consider others more. And if he wins this election, this Donald Trump will be a far better president for everybody. I want you guys to look at this. A lot of things with Trump seems to come in twos. He's been impeached Twice, as far as being president, he could be a two-time loser or a two-time winner. He has two state indictments, one in Georgia, one in New York. He has two federal indictments, one in Florida, one in D.C. That bullet possibly missed him and hit the second guy. My main point is this. Joe Biden isn't the only candidate now with extreme mental problems. But the upside is, with the right help, Trump can not only be a better president, but he will be a better man. Please like and subscribe. But I really, really, really want to hear what you think.